Hi everyone, this is Jerry. Um, this is a short video on how to use ePortfolio for your faculty status um, portfolio. Uh, the committee is no longer looking at paper portfolios and is working very hard to dispense with all paper um, at this point going forward. So if you log into my Albertus, um, I've got the window uh, smaller now, so this looks a little different than you'll see. But um, anyway, uh, log into my Albertus, and then right here you should see Faculty Status ePortfolio as a cl clickable link, and click that. And there we go. Um, important stuff up here. We have our due dates and instructions on how to use the site and here's the information in the faculty handbook. Okay, so you can view or download it. If you download it then you can just save it to your hard drive. If you just view it then just go ahead and read the appropriate section. Promotion, um, tenure, um, leaves of absence, all the main activities that the uh, Faculty Status Committee um, has to deal with every year. Um, so there's 18 pages of that. Go to the appropriate section. Pay close attention to uh, who needs to act on what and um, basically that's it. Okay, so let's see. So. Um, as you scroll down on the left side is where you access your individual portfolio. So if you click your name, um, then um, there are subpages here, um, CV, evaluations, etc. So um, under the CV tab, then you would add a file, which just click this link. Um, and browse your hard drive to see where the file is, um, etc., that you want, okay, to add to the folder at that point. Click on the file, click open, and um, it'll automatically uh, upload it to the appropriate spot. And then when the committee goes to your folder, we just click view and can read the information. Okay, um, you can add files directly from Google Drive if you're using Google Drive. If you upload a file to the wrong place, you can move it here. And if you want to get rid of it, just click delete. Okay, so um, put your letters in the appropriate place. Uh, whoops, I'm in Amanda's here. Let me go back, sorry. Uh, Jerome Nevin's portfolio. Um, Okay, and um, anything you'd like to add here, a narrative if that's required, uh, any portfolio work, um, references, your syllabi. Um, okay, so uh, yours will look different than that, but nevertheless you can just upload documents as necessary. and. Let's see. Okay, um, so in terms of the um, uh, evaluations, uh, have I put any in here? Yes. Um, what you need to do is put your evaluations in as PDFs, and in order to do that, you go to the evaluation. Um, site or area and then there's a link or a button at the bottom that'll say uh, download as a PDF and then you'll get the file in on your computer and then just take that and add file and upload it so uh, PDF is you know uh, easy to handle easy to deal with easy to save etc okay um, so we need at least four uh, course evaluations for each person um, I think that should pretty much cover it. Um, 
We want your CV, any letters, um, letters of reappointment from your department chair if it's just a non-review year. And um, if it's a review year, then we need your department chair plus a member of the committee plus, um, I believe, someone of your choosing. Uh, you can check that out here under the instructions. Um, and have fun. Uh, please email me with any questions, um, and I'd be, I'll get back to you right away. Uh, take care.